So you want to know about FDR's third term as president. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the first president to run for a third term, but he wasn't the first to consider it. Ulysses S. Grant and Theodore Roosevelt considered running for a third term. After many ballots, it came down to a unanimous decision that Grant wouldn't get the nomination, and Roosevelt declared that he wouldn't get another term. The difference between FDR and Teddy and Grant is that FDR's third term would have been consecutive, while Teddy and Grant's wouldn't have been. When Teddy and Grant were considering running for a third term, they received a lot of criticism. Unlike them, FDR didn't get as much. He won the Democratic nomination 946 to 147. The Democratic Party cl clearly liked him if they wanted him to run again. However, he said that he wouldn't run again unless the Nazi aggression exploded into a shooting war. There are a few things that made him run again. Hitler launches Blitzkrieg attack on France. He couldn't find a Democrat that he thought could win and agreed with his views. And finally, Felix Frankfurter told him that he was not only justified in running again, but it was his duty to do so. One reason no one else said they wanted to run again because they were intimidated by FDR's lack of a public decision about running for a third term. Roosevelt won the 1940 election, 449 electoral votes, to win to Wilkie's 82. He won the popular vote, 54.7%, to Wilkie's 44.8. In 1944, FDR continued his run and ran for a fourth time, where he eventually died in office shortly after inauguration. FDR's third and eventual fourth time being elected led to the passing of the 22nd Amendment in 1947. The 22nd Amendment to set a two-term limit for anyone to be elected president. An individual could serve a maximum of 10 years if they took over for the last two years of someone else's. The 22nd Amendment is as follows. No person shall be elected to the office of president more than twice. No person who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term of which some other person was elected president shall be elected to the office of president more than once. Would you like to see more from politics, or would you like to see other videos from either social aspects, economics, or the arts?